Hey everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and today let's take a quick look at Opera Mini 5 for Android. We're going to do it here on a Nexus 1, because that's what I feel like looking at it on. Boots up pretty quick. You're going to have to accept some uh, legalese when you first stutter up, but here you go. You get a bunch of bookmarks, My Opera, Facebook, GoTo, The New York Times, AccuWeather, Opera Sports. Let's check out GoTo real quick and just see what that is. I don't understand half of what I see in the uh, on the internets these days, but there you go, Facebook, we all know that. Here's MyOpera.com. I'm on Wi-Fi, so it's loading very, very fast, but either way, it renders very quickly, too. Let's go to everybody's favorite website, AndroidCentral.com, and I'll start out on the... Uh, on the mobile site here as soon as I get my fingers going they haven't had their coffee yet Android Central it's not that easy to type when you're trying to film at the same time so forgive me because I'm that great of a typist in the first place alright here we go finally there you go that's our mobile site isn't it a beauty and it should load perfectly because it's a mobile site and it's meant to um, we'll check out the full version and see how this renders. That's always the big question when you're dealing with browsers on these things. And there you go. It renders pretty darn well. Everything, the spacing looks all right. The images are loading. Now you'll see here on that double twist post there, there's no image. There's actually a YouTube video embedded at the top of it, and obviously it's not there. So, sorry, no flash support. We're all just going to have to get over that for now. But otherwise, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, the scrolling is very, very smooth and quick and fluid. Now let's go back and see what else we got. You can add tabs. You can go back to the uh, the initial nine panel bookmarks there, and you can change those up and add whatever you want. You'll see you have Google Search up there at the top. Here's what your bookmarks look like, and look at that. You can add RSS feeds. That's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at the settings and see what else we have. There's your history. That's a nice, easy way to jump from page to page if you need to go back to something. You just do it through the history. You got the start page again. Here's saved pages. So you can actually save entire pages if you want. We won't bother doing that now. And you have a downloads manager. If you've ever used any browser, you've undoubtedly seen that before. Here are your settings. You can choose whether or not you want to load the images. That's handy. You can change the image quality. We'll bump it up to medium because I'm a medium kind of guy. Font size, mobile view, full screen, opera link. Let's see what that is. Oh, look at that. It's a free service that synchronizes your bookmarks, speed dial, and search engines between your phone and your desktop computer if you're using opera on the desktop. Here are your privacy options. You can choose to remember passwords and accept cookies and clear your history and passwords and all that stuff. Under advanced, you have all your usual network stuff. Nine times out of ten, you don't need to be messing around in there, so don't come crying to me if you screw something up. And that's it. No, don't want to bother reloading the pages after that. All in all, it's a pretty darn good browser for starters, so give it a look. See ya!